has the ability to distend its jaw way out in front of its body and then snap it back. In the vast expanse of Earth's oceans, much like the towering mountain ranges and expansive valleys that grace its land, a mysterious and awe-inspiring world exists beneath the waves. Amongst this aqueous world, the Mariana Trench stands as a pinnacle of intrigue. This colossal chasm, carving its mark in the western Pacific Ocean, stretches over an astonishing expanse, spanning more than a staggering 1,580 miles. Well, it's true that wonder lies not just in its immense size, but in the depths it conceals. To put this into perspective, Challenger Deep, the lowest point of the Mariana Trench, descends to depths nearly three times greater than where the tragic wreckage of the Titanic that lays in the Atlantic Ocean. It goes beyond the towering height of Mount Everest, which is also known as Earth's highest peak. As we delve deeper into the enigmatic depths of the Mariana Trench, we find ourselves peering into an abyss that challenges our understanding of the natural world and leaves us captivated by the mysteries that lie below. Join us on an expedition through these watery depths as we uncover the astonishing secrets that await and redefine our perceptions of the dark ocean. Stay with us and make sure to watch the video till the end. Did you know that a whopping 72% of our Earth is covered by oceans? These vast, watery areas play a huge role in shaping our planet's ever-changing look. Deep down in the ocean, something fascinating happens. It's like a hidden dance of giant puzzle pieces. This natural dance, known as an oceanic trench, is one of the Earth's cool secrets. The Mariana Trench, essentially an oceanic trench, derives its name from the nearby Mariana Islands, which is a cluster of land masses referred to as Las Marianas, in honor of the esteemed Spanish queen, Mariana of Austria. The Mariana Trench is part of the subduction system that forms the boundary between two tectonic plates. To understand the formation of this trench, imagine the Earth's crust as a giant puzzle, and the Mariana Trench is a fascinating piece of that puzzle. This trench is like a groove where two massive pieces of the Earth's outer layer meet. One piece, the Pacific Plate, is like an ancient explorer. It's been around for a very long time, up to a staggering 170 million years. It's cooler and denser than the other piece it meets, the Mariana Plate, which is younger and riding higher in this geological puzzle. Now when these two colossal pieces meet, the Pacific Plate kind of dives beneath the Mariana Plate. It's like a magical underwater dance where one plate slips under the other. This dance creates a deep trench, and that's the Mariana Trench we're talking about. This trench is like a super long groove, way longer than the Grand Canyon, and deeper than Mount Everest is tall. Imagine if Everest was underwater. This trench goes even deeper. Once you go about a thousand feet down, it's like saying goodbye to the sun. It's super dark and freezing cold, with pressure so strong it's like a thousand elephants pushing down on you. But guess what? Some unique creatures live there, and they've got special skills. They can light up the darkness with their glowy bodies, like they have their flashlights. It's like they're from another world. For example, meet Goblin Shark. They have a strange, flat snout that sticks out like a sword. But what's even more peculiar is their teeth. Lots and lots of them. Imagine rows and rows of sharp teeth ready to surprise their prey. These sharks are not in a hurry. They take their time cruising through the water. They have a cool trick. They use their sense of smell, eyesight, and a sort of electric feeling to find their next meal. Sneaky, right? They wait for the perfect moment when their meal is distracted. And guess what? These goblin sharks are like rare celebrities of the ocean. They're not seen very often. It's like they've mastered the art of hide-and-seek. Next on the list, we have Benthacodon, also known as a deep-sea jellyfish. Benthacodon is a tiny marvel with up to 2,000 mini tentacles, helping it zip through the ocean depths in style. Even though it's small, only growing about 4 centimeters wide, it's a jellyfish with flair. 
Imagine its body like a see-through umbrella with a twist. The insides usually glow a vibrant red. Why? Well, scientists think it's playing hide-and-seek with the bioluminescent creatures it's munching on. The jellyfish turns into a living disco ball, keeping its meals a secret while they get digested. Well, the list of strange creatures in Mariana Trench doesn't end here. Ever heard of zombie worms? We know they have a spooky name, but they're not undead creatures like the ones you see in movies. These worms are real and live in the deep ocean. They have a strange diet. They love munching on the bones of dead whalers that fall to the ocean floor. To eat these bones, zombie worms have a special trick. They drill into the bones using root tissues that make acid. This acid helps break down the bones. The worms also have helpful bacteria living with them. These bacteria help the worms digest the proteins and fats in the bones. Imagine the worms having tiny feather-like plumes that stick out of the holes they make in the bones. These plumes help them breathe in the water. Zombie worms are like nature's bone-eating recyclers, making use of what's left behind by the ocean's giants. Scientists first discovered these bone-munching worms in 2002, chilling on the remains of a gray whale that had taken its last dive into the deep ocean, around 9,191 feet or 2,193 meters below the surface. While they might sound scary, these acid-loving scavengers are just doing their thing, helping the ocean's cleanup crew in a unique and spooky way. In 1875, during an expedition by the HMS Challenger, researchers found tiny radiolaria protozoa, single-celled creatures that survive by consuming organic matter. Within samples of sediment taken from a staggering depth of 8,184 meters, in the years that followed, through numerous scientific expeditions, experts delved even deeper into this abyss and uncovered a rich tapestry of life. These expeditions revealed a diverse array of microorganisms, numbering more than 200 different species residing within the collected sediment samples. Many of these microorganisms possess a unique ability to feed on various chemicals, including hydrogen and methane, release it in the underwater environment. Further exploration unveiled peculiar beings like sediment-feeding saucer-sized single-celled xenophyophores, along with shrimp-like amphipods, scale worms, and diminutive sea cucumbers known as holothurians. The Mariana Trench, it seems, is not a lifeless void, but a thriving ecosystem with hidden wonders waiting to be discovered. Many people would think that the deepest point of the Earth would be the quietest place. Well, they are wrong. Scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration decided to eavesdrop on the deepest part of the Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench. They used a special underwater microphone, like a detective for sounds in the ocean. For three weeks, this underwater microphone caught all kinds of sounds from the depths. It was like listening to the ocean's secrets. The surprising part? There's a constant hum of sounds, a mix of natural rumblings and human-made noises. Imagine hearing earthquakes, both near and far. They're like the Earth's growls from deep within. Add to that the haunting calls of big whales. And believe it or not, a massive storm, a Category 4 typhoon, left its mark too, filling the underwater world with its roar. And guess what else they heard? Ships passing by. The ship engines create a distinct sound, almost like a symphony of the deep. It's like exploring an unknown world, but in our very own oceans. Scientists carefully listened to all these sounds like unraveling a mystery. They even heard a big earthquake, a magnitude 5.0 event deep below the ocean floor. The microphone was even deeper, an unusual experience indeed. It seems like the ocean has its own language. There are very few brave adventurers that dive deep into the Mariana Trench. The first expedition took place in 1960 when a special underwater vehicle called Trieste descended into the deep, carrying explorers Jacques Picard and Don Walsh. They were amazed to discover living creatures thriving in a place once thought uninhabitable by anything. This incredible journey shattered what people previously believed about the ocean. Dr. Gene Feldman, 
a wise ocean scientist, shared how their assumptions were completely changed. Another brave soul, James Cameron, who directed the famous Titanic movie, took on the challenge next. In 2012, he went down to an astonishing 35,787 feet, a world record. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What else do you think exists in the deepest point of the ocean? Do you guys want to visit it just like Cameron did? Tell us in the comment section below as we love to read your comments.